Hello everyone and welcome to .NET Core Central. In today's video, I am going to continue my discussion on Apache Kafka. In my last video, I went through the basic understanding of what is Apache Kafka, what are topics, what are partitions and nodes. In today's video, I am going to go ahead and create a topic with multiple partition and run multiple consumer of the same consumer group and will show that the messages sent to that topic is the message will be distributed among the multiple consumer. But before I do that first, I'm going to show you the initial example which I created last time. So I had this producer which is producing message and then I had this consumer which is consuming the message. Now I have opened up command prompt for the consumer as well as producer. And as you can see, two consumers are running as well as producer. So initially I'm going to start sending messages and you'll see that only one of the consumer will get all the messages because we just have one partition. Then I'm going to go ahead and create two partition, start sending messages, and then we'll see that the message will be distributed to both the consumer. As you can see, it doesn't matter how many messages we send, it is always coming to one of the consumer. Now, let's do one thing. Let's restart the consumers. But before we restart, let's go ahead and go to the topics and delete this topic and let's create the topic. So, here, as you can see, the weather topic has only one partition. So let's first delete this topic. And then now let's create this topic manually. And for the partition, we can give the number of partition as two. And for everything else, we can just create default. Now for this topic, we can see there are two partitions available and both the partitions are in the leader broker because we just have one broker, just one machine where it is running. So now let's go back. And let's start the let me clear this up. Start one zoom, one consumer. And this is the second consumer. And now let's start the producer. As you can see, the message is now distributed among both the consumers. So this is how if you have multiple partition for a topic and you have multiple consumer, the consumers will be getting, all the consumers will be getting message in a distributed manner. Now, the number of consumer have to be less than or equal to the number of partitions created for the topic. So here we have two partitions, we have two consumers. If we create a third consumer, the message will not be delivered to the third. And that's something we saw earlier, where we had only one partition and two consumer, the message was going to only one particular consumer. The next thing I wanted to do is, 
I wanted to show how we can use ASP.NET Core to publish message into Kafka just to show how the DI and everything will work. So for that, what we can do is for this particular application also, I went ahead and added the Confluent Kafka as a NuGet package. And then we have the sensor controller. Let's say sensor controller is one where we are going to publish the data for weather. And maybe it is coming from a device which is running on some sort of sensor device running somewhere out there. So first what we can do is we can create a new class and we can call the class as weather data publisher. And I'm going to copy this particular record into that class. So we can first let me get rid of the extra braces and we can keep it here. And for this one in the constructor we can have i i producer string producer and then we can create a public method producing and this is going to take the weather data or the weather object And here, what it's going to do is we want to use the producer to publish this message. So we can say producer dot producer sync. And here for the topic, we're going to give weather topic. And for the message, we're going to say new and for the value going to say json convert dot serialize and we can pass the weather object and we're just going to put an await here so that should be good enough for publishing a message. And here we can extract an interface. And then we can go ahead and copy this code because that's what we have to do in the dependency injection container. So here we can do this, but instead of this, what we'll do is we'll say builder dot services dot at singleton i producer string. And here we can say and then we will add the dependency for the class that we created. So we'll say builder dot services dot add singleton and we're going to add i weather data publisher 
where the data publisher that should be it so this will add the producer as well as the weather data publisher into the dependency injection and then we'll go here in the center sensor controller create a constructor i weather data publisher and here in the post message we can take weather So now if we run this application and we publish a message into the same Kafka topic, we should be able to see it showing up in one of the consumer. So let's go ahead and run this application. So if I go to the API slash sensor, I am keeping the UI here for Swagger minimized so that we can see the consumer message showing up here. I have to say try it out. Here we can say um, and we can say 55. Execute async, and we can see the temperature is showing up here. And next, if we say again, Florida and 90, we see it's showing up here. So as you can see, using ASP.NET also, it's fairly straightforward in terms of how we create this in the dependency. We create a consumer configuration or producer configuration. In this case, we are doing a producer, so producer configuration. And then using the producer builder, we build it and add it to the dependency. And then we can use this iProducer inside of a class to publish message into Kafka. So this is a short video just to show how we can have multiple partition inside of a single topic and then multiple consumer can consume message from the topic which is essentially going to be scale out strategy for any application when you want to scale your application out. If you are getting a lots and lots of messages and your consumers are not able to keep up with the number of messages in that case you need to create multiple partitions inside of a topic and then you can create as many number of consumers as the number of partition. Hence, they can all run in parallel and can produce more messages. So that is all I wanted to cover for today's video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel and if you think you are getting value out of my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks so much for watching this video.